Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I showed you how to extend the size of any partition and what to do if the extend volume option is grayed out, solving it in just one click. Today, I'll guide you on how to upgrade your system from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and if you want to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, how to do that as well. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Welcome to my channel, Technicio. As you can see, my system currently has Windows 10 installed and I want to upgrade it. First, we'll download the Windows 11 setup. For this, we'll open a browser and search for Windows 11 download. After hitting enter, we'll open Microsoft's official website. Here we'll see three options. The first is the Windows 11 installation assistant. The second is to create Windows 11 installation media and the third is to download the Windows 11 disk image, ISO. We'll choose the third option to download the Windows 11 ISO image. Click Select Download, choose the Windows 11 Multi-Edition option, and then click Download Now. The site will process our request and then ask which language we want Windows in. Clicking Choose One will show many language options, but I'll select US English and confirm. The site will process the request again and then provide the 64-bit download option. This download link is only valid for 24 hours, so click the download button to get the Windows 11 ISO file. You can use any downloader for this, but if you want to know about this fast and lifetime free downloader, check out my tagged video. Once the download is complete, we'll open the folder where the ISO file is saved and mount it by double clicking. Remember the drive letter where the image is mounted, as we'll need it later. Now, we'll open the setup. After preparation, the Install Windows 11 dialog will appear. Here, the setup will ask if we want to download updates. For now, I just want to check if my system is compatible, so I'll choose Not Right Now and click Next. The setup will then check if my system meets Windows 11's requirements. As you can see, it gives an error. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. This can happen for various reasons, sometimes due to hardware, other times due to drivers. Now, I'll show you how to fix this error and complete the installation smoothly. We'll cancel the setup, which will revert the changes. Next, we'll open the Run dialog by pressing Windows plus R, type CMD, and Open Command Prompt as administrator by pressing Control plus Shift plus Enter. Now, we'll type the drive letter where the ISO is mounted. In my case, it's E, so I'll type E colon and press Enter. Now, we're in drive E. Next, we'll enter the command setup.exe slash product server slash compat ignore warning. If driver issues are preventing the installation, use this command instead. setup.exe slash product server compat ignore warning. Migrate drivers all press enter and command prompt will open the setup as a Windows Server installation. But don't worry, it's still Windows 11. This just bypasses the compatibility error. Now I'll let the setup download updates so the latest ones install alongside the OS. After clicking Next, it will check for updates and system requirements again, but this time, it will pass without errors. Next, we'll see the license terms, which we'll accept. Then, the setup will ask what we want to keep, offering three options. Keep personal files, settings, and apps. Keep only personal files, or keep nothing. I want to keep everything, so I'll choose the first option and click Next. The setup will download updates and then show the Ready to Install screen. Clicking Install will begin the Windows installation. It may show installing Windows Server, but it's actually Windows 11. The process will take some time. But once done, updates will also be installed automatically, so you'll need to wait. After installation is completed, Windows will prepare the user profile, and then we can log in. Now I'll show you which version of Windows is installed. Open Settings. Go to About, and you'll see Windows 11 Pro is installed. I'll also show you my installed apps and personal files. Everything remains intact. For example, my apps are still there, and if I check the Downloads folder, all my files, including the Windows 11 ISO, are still present. With this single command, you can upgrade any unsupported hardware from Windows 10 to Windows 11. For now, that's all. In the next video, I'll show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 using Rufus software on an unsupported system without any commands. Don't miss my next video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technicio, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update.
Together, let's end tech tantrums. Thank you.